Hey guys, it's Kristen here with Find Your Balance Dog Training. I'm here with Dory, our 14 week old Welsh Springer client. She's joining us for some puppy basics this week. Her owners have already started doing a fantastic job with her crate training at home the moment they brought her home. So the single most important thing that you can do for your puppy um, starting the day you bring them home is to crate train them. So of course we're gonna be continuing on with her crating and I'm also gonna be adding some stuff to it. So I'm just gonna go through some crating exercises to show you um, how exactly to begin crate training a puppy. So when we start out, we always wanna make sure that we are never taking a whining, crying, um, demanding, barking, tantruming puppy out of the crate. So we wanna wait until the puppy is calm and quiet and that's when we take him out of the crate. If your dog or puppy is tantruming and fussing and you run to him and take him out of the, out of the crate, you are training that puppy to do that behavior to get access to you, to control being in the crate, which we don't want. So we want the crate to be conditioned to be a calm place of rest, a place where the puppy eats, um, and a place where the puppy gets independent time away from humans and other pets so we can prevent man-made issues like separation anxiety. Um, and we also wanna make sure that we're following a very um, routine crating schedule. So when we do have a nice calm puppy and we're ready to take puppy out of the crate, what I'm gonna do is open the door. If puppy comes forward, I'm just gonna close the door. So I want to use my crating as the first opportunity to start teaching the puppy how to control her impulses and how to wait. Good, I can reward waiting behavior. We're using our kibble to train, so no treats. We're using um, meals to train here so that we can build food drive. Using treats tends to ruin a dog's food drive for their healthy kibble, which they need. When we have a nice waiting, waiting puppy, then I'll invite her to come out. All right, let's go. Good job. When puppy comes out, the crate door gets closed and latched. The crate is not come and go as you please. The crate is gonna be on the human terms because it's one of the very first um, tools that we get to use as owners to start teaching our dogs, our puppies about impulse control. So when it's time for the puppy to go back into the crate, we always leave a, a collar and a leash on the puppy when they're out with us, but when they're in the crate, we wanna take all of that stuff out, off. Very dangerous to leave collars on little puppies when they're in the crate, because the collar can catch on things, um, and we don't want you know our puppy to get harmed in any way inside the crate. So when it's time for the puppy to go in, I'm just gonna open the crate door. Um, I'm gonna take my food and lure her in. Let's go, crate. If she doesn't go in, I can use my leash as well to help guide her. Good, once she goes in, I mark that with a good. I give her some food reward. Dory has learned to sit at home. Her parents have done a fabulous job there, so I'm also gonna give her the sit command. If she was going down for a nap now, I would also reach in, take her collar and leash off, take her little jacket off, close the door up, and leave her be for the next um, two hours for her nap time. We're gonna keep working on this. So um, I'm gonna just leave that stuff on for now. Again, a nice waiting puppy. Good. Let's go. Good job, Miss Story. And that's the beginning of um, crate exercises and teaching a puppy how to love her crate, how to willingly wanna go into her crate and that this is gonna be a place of great comfort and reward. Good job, Dory. Sit. Sit. Good. Good girl. Good, okay, let's go.